Hello, my name is Letha Valeri, and I'm one of the counselors at Anne Arundel Community College Personal Counseling Services. And today I'm here to talk to you about relationships, or more specifically, what is the difference between healthy relationships versus unhealthy relationships? Now, relationships are a very important part of our lives. Some would say it's the most significant part of our lives. However, we have all received little or no formal education, or most of us has anyway, about this very important aspect of our lives. The majority of us, when we think about where we've gained information about relationships, much of it could come from pop culture, such as movies, books, music, and much of what is depicted in movies, books, and music, and pop culture shows relationships that are not healthy. So today I'm gonna to go over with you the 10 signs of an unhealthy relationship and the 10 signs of a healthy relationship. This, the content of this workshop is based on the One Love Foundation. The One Love Foundation is a foundation that educates young people about the difference between healthy versus unhealthy relationships. Now it's important to remember that there is no such thing as a perfect relationship. Every relationship has a mix of healthy and unhealthy characteristics. Relationships can be considered on a spectrum. Um, each person is different and unique, and each relationship is different and unique. However, there are some common characteristics of healthy relationships and some warning signs of an unhealthy relationship. A good place to start is to think about your relationship that you're in and do some self-reflection to questions that you can ask yourself are the following. Does each person in the relationship trust each other? Do you trust your partner in your relationship? The, rela the foundation of every healthy relationship is trust. Do both individuals in the relationship treat each other with dignity and respect? Is there a quality and fairness in the relationship? Does this relationship help me grow, improve, or become a better person? Do I like who I am in this relationship? Now I'm gonna go over some signs or 10 signs of an unhealthy relationship. The first sign, intensity. If the relationship is too intense, if one partner is expressing extreme over the top feelings that feel overwhelming, if the relationship is moving too fast and too strong and you don't feel comfortable, if one individual wants to spend all their time with the other individual, you cannot be someone's, you can't be someone's everything. You can't be your partner's everything. So this is, uh, these are descriptors of intensity in an intense relationship, and that could be a characteristic and a healthy relationship. Possessiveness. If your partner is trying to control who you spend time with and what you do. An example of this could be, your partner gets upset when you spend time with friends or spend time on hobbies, or he or she may accuse you of flirting or cheating when you're talking or hanging out with your friends. And in, in extreme cases of this, if your partner is stalking or monitoring your phone calls or your texts all the time. The next quality, manipulation. If there is a lack of freedom in a relationship, and if you feel that your partner is trying to control your decisions, actions, and emotions, this is a sign of a manipulation and it's a sign of an unhealthy relationship. Each person has the right to do his or has the right to his or her own beliefs, opinions, values, and interests. Now, this manipulation can be direct. For example, your partner may can try to convince you or coerce you to do something that you don't feel comfortable doing. Or the manipulation can be more passive aggressive in that he or she may give you the silent treatment if you don't do what he or she says. In healthy relationship, each partner should have a sense of freedom to be themselves, him or herself. Isolation. If your partner is cutting you off from family or friends and de demands that you only spend time with him or her, if you feel that you have to choose between your partner or your friends or your family, this is a sign of unhealthy relationship. This is, these are examples of isolation. In isolation, you may feel that you are dependent on your partner for love, acceptance, money, financial resources, or emotional resources. 
sabotage. If your partner purposely ruins your reputation, achievement, or success, and that may also include keeping you from your hobbies or interests. Another example of sabotage behaviors is talking behind your back, starting rumors about you, threatening to share private information about you, and in social, that could be on social media as well, where they may threaten to share information on social media about you, or they may share information on social media about you that ruins your reputation. The littling. When your partner says things or does things that make you feel bad about yourself, which could be done through rude remarks, name calling, criticizing, sarcastic comments, or jokes about you in a way that makes you feel bad about yourself. And your partner may say, oh, I'm just teasing you, but no one should make you feel less confident about yourself or less about yourself. You want to be in a relationship with a person that encourages you and makes you feel better about yourself, encourages you to be a better person. Guilting. This is another characteristic of an healthy relationship. When someone makes you feel responsible for their actions or their feelings, if when your partner makes you feel that it's your job to make them feel happy. Each person is responsible for his or her own happiness. You can't find your happiness in another relationship, in a relationship. Volatility. If in a relationship you feel as if you're walking on eggshells because your partner has really strong or unpredictable reactions that make you feel fearful or intimidated. The relationship may feel as if you're on a roller coaster because of your partner's extremely high or low moods. If your partner overreacts to small things by threatening you, yelling at you, or even getting violent. Deflecting responsibility. If your partner repeatedly makes excuses for his or her unhealthy behaviors by blaming others or even yourself for his or her unhealthy behaviors. So for example, if they say, I wouldn't have yelled at you if you hadn't said this or did this. Each person is responsible for their own behavior, like I said before. Betrayal, intentional and repeated acts of disloyalty or dishonesty. Examples of that could be cheating on you, acting two-faced, so one way with you and another way with others, or lying to you. Now, as I said before, it's important to remember that no relationship is 100% healthy, and your relationship may have some of these unhealthy characteristics, and that's okay. Um, as long as each per partner has self-awareness and is able to learn and change their behavior and improve on the relationship and engage in more healthy behaviors. However, uh, these warning signs are things to be aware of. And then if they escalate, it can escalate a relationship from an unhealthy relationship to a more abusive relationship. And so at any point, if you don't feel safe in your relationship, you, I would recommend that you reach out and get help and be honest with someone that you trust and let them know. Trust your gut and get help. Now, these are some of the resources you can to go to if you need help. At any point in the relationship, if you've been physically hurt or abused or emotionally hurt or abused, you can reach out to these resources. The National Domestic Hotline, 1-800-799-7233. The Crisis Text Line, 1-866-331-7474. And you can text Love Is. Live chat on the website, www.loveisrespect.org. There's a live chat there where you can reach out for help at any point if you don't feel safe. At any point, if also if you don't feel safe and the danger is imminent, I would say you can call 911 as well. Now, so at any point, if you don't feel safe, please do reach out to these resources. So now that we covered what is unhealthy in a relationship, we are going to talk about healthy relationships. Now, healthy relationships are based on mutual respect, trust, and equality. Like I said before, the foundation of every relationship is trust. The other thing about healthy relationship is that it brings out the best in you and makes you feel good about yourself. You should like who you are in the relationship. The first characteristic of a healthy relationship is trust. 
if you feel safe physically and emotionally in the relationship, and you should have confidence that your partner will not do anything to harm you or hurt you. Comfortable pace. The relationship moves at a pace that both partners feel comfortable and is enjoyable for both partners. Neither partner feels rushed, pressured, overwhelmed by the pace of the relationship. Honesty. A healthy relationship should be based on honesty. Both partners are honest with each other and feel comfortable about being honest with each other. A relationship can be defined as a gift of yourself to another and that per your partner's gift of them, his or herself to you. In order for a relationship to be authentic, you need to feel comfortable being true and sharing your honest thoughts, feelings, and opinions with your partner. You don't feel like you have to hide things or deceive, deceive your partner because of their reaction. Independence. In, in a healthy relationship, both partners are independent. You have the space to be in the relationship, to be your own person outside of the relationship with your own interests and hobbies. You have the freedom to be you, and so does your partner. Respect. Both partners honor each other, value each other's opinions and ideas, as well as each other's goals and dreams. Partners do not use each other, but respect each other. Furthermore, each partner feels comfortable setting boundaries in relationships and feels comfortable that those boundaries will be respected. That could be boundaries in the physical area or in the emotional area. So if they say, I'm not comfortable in sharing this right now or doing this right now, the other partner would respect that boundary. Equality and mutuality. Healthy relationships feel balanced in that each partner puts an equal effort resources and time into the relationship so that each person feels that there is an equal mutual give and take and not one partner is just putting all of themselves in and the other partner is not. Kindness. Both individuals in the relationship are caring and empathetic to one another. And kindness is a two-way street where it is given and received and um, received and given. And so in the relationship, there is an environment where each partner feels cared for, appreciated, and validated. Um, there was a study done on relationships that were the relationships that lasted over a long period of time. And they looked at marriages and relationships that, look, that lasted for 10, 20, 30 years and those that didn't. And they found that one of the characteristics of those relationships that last on the long term was that was kindness. Both partners were kind to each other. Taking responsibility. In a healthy relationship, each partner takes ownership for their individual actions and behaviors. This means that each partner avoids placing blame. So if one partner does something wrong or makes a mistake, he or she is able to acknowledge his or her mistake and sincerely apologize and try to improve the relationship with positive change. So if your partner um, realizes that sometimes he or she does something unhealthy, but says, I, I sincerely apologize and tries to improve his or her own behavior to make the relationship better, that's a sign of a healthy relationship. Conflict, healthy conflict. So sometimes when I'm working with young couples, they say that, oh, um, my partner and I are um, do not have any disagreements. And that's not necessarily a sign of a healthy relationship. Um, conflict is a normal part of healthy relationships. When there are two distinct individuals in a relationship, there is bound to be disagreements. And that's okay. It's just as long as those disagreements occur in an um, open and respectful manner. And the disagreements are confronted in open, respectful manner and not judgmentally. No one should feel belittled or yelled at or verbally abused during the time when a conflict is confronted. Fun. Healthy relationships are fun. Each person in the relationship should enjoy spending time with each other and, and um, feel that the relationship brings out the best part of, best, um, part of them. Um, and so the relationship should be fun, relaxing, comfortable, and make you feel happy. 
Um, no relationship is 100% fun all the time, but you should be able to enjoy spending time with a person and enjoy yourself in the relationship. Now, I'm just gonna go over some um, sayings that are fun to, to think about in relationships um, that makes re a relationship resilient and helps individuals adapt. And so one of them is find your funny bone. And that is, you know, don't take yourself too seriously all the time. Laugh at yourself sometimes. Often humor meets stress, um, especially when there is an argument or a disagreement. Um, if you can find if you can laugh with each other about things and try to find the humor in situations, that is very helpful. Another thing, another saying, don't hold on to dynamite after it's lit. So if you find yourself um, having a disagreement with your partner and you're about to lose your temper and you find you're gonna engage in an unhealthy behavior, walk away. It's okay to take some time. Walk away from the quarrel, the fight, um, if tempers are getting too touchy and then re come, re we discuss after um, you have calmed down or your partner has calmed down. Don't argue, but discuss in a respectful manner. Another saying, are you magnet or fly paper? Do you attract positive things and people in your life and release anything easily and naturally that isn't meant for you or that's negative? Or do you get stuck with a lot of burdens or negative energy? Another saying, Retire from the Supreme Court. Um, get out of the human judgment business. Why add to your, the stress of your life by useless critical opinion of others? And so stop judging others and also stop judging yourself. You're not on the Supreme Court or retire from it if you are. Ride a rainbow. That's a saying that means see something beautiful about others. Um, see the best in people and in yourself. Um, it's really quite a lovely world if you take the time to look at it. Do not tie tin cans to dog tails. And that means be kind, respect the feelings of others, be nice to, be nice to people and others. Let relationships run smoothly. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the One Love Foundation website. So I'm gonna share my screen again to show you the website. Um, if so, here's the One Love Foundation. Um, it talks over Relationships 101. It talks about the 10 signs of unhealthy relationship, the 10 signs of unhealthy relationship. There's also a blog and there's also videos. Um, and you can also go through this and look at all the different resources, but this is a great resource for you um, that talks about um, relationships. So that is my workshop for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you for taking the time um, to listen to it. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or would like to learn about how to set up an appointment with a counselor at Anne Arundel Community College, then please email counseling at aacc.edu. Thank you.